where we're looking for the rate law for this reaction. Somebody's going to ask you, what's the rate law for this? Given this experimental data, which has concentrations of the reactants, don't worry about the products, and the initial rate of the reaction, or at time zero, how is the concentration affecting the rate? So, we can actually write this rate law in a very rudimentary form right now, and then plug in what we need to. This is what you can always write. Somebody says, write the rate law. Oh, I go right away. I go, rate equals K. That's standard. Times the concentration of one of the reactants, NH4 positive, times the concentration of the NO2 negative. But here's the thing. You don't know X and Y here, which are the powers to which those concentrations are taken. But the information here is going to help us get those powers. Once we get those, we can actually find K, which is a rate constant. Watch how this happens, okay? There's a simple way to do it. There's a mathematical way to do it, but there's a simple way. And the charts will always give you a simple way. Watch this. If you have a trial where these concentrations of these two chemicals are reacting and they give you a certain rate, what happens if, in trial two, you keep the concentration of the NH4 the same, the NH4 positive, but you change the concentration of the NO2 negative by doubling it. Well, it looks like the rate has done what? Doubled. If the concentration of a certain chemical doubles, and the rate doubles, what's the power to which that chemical is taken if this is held constant, which it is? Yeah, yeah, it's the power of one. It's a first order type of reaction for that chemical. So we know what the order is now for the NO2 negative. That's cool. Okay, now look at this one. When you compare lines of data 2 and 3, trials 2 and 3, look what happens. The concentration of the NH4 positive is doubled here. This stays the same, so that's good. As long as one stays the same and the other changes, we can figure out what's happening. This stays the same. This doubles. What happens to the rate? Now, I know that's a kind of a kooky way to write scientific notation, but I did it on purpose to show you. This number times 4 is this number here. So when the concentration was doubled, the rate went up 4 times. So what's the order, the power to which this is taken? Yeah, yeah, if this doubles and this goes up by 4 when this is held constant, this is a 2. So overall, we say that this reaction is 2 plus 1 is third order overall. And look, if you took this line of data right now, and plug this number in for this, this number in for this, squared and to the first power, and you put this in for rate, you can divide these into this side to find k, the rate constant, and that's how you would do that. This is called the differential rate law method, or the initial rate method for finding this differential rate law, or it's just called the rate law.